So some of you guys might have decided to uninstall Truecaller by seeing the thumbnail and title. But wait, don't do that now itself because I am going to share you some things about Truecaller and why it is not suggested to be used by the public by the research and analysis wing and the Indian Defense Force. Yes, Truecaller is said to be a malware, but why? So in this video, I am going to share you some things about that and hey guys, I am Anna, we are back again with yet another video and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe subscribe our channel by clicking the red color subscribe button below and also press the bell icon so that you stay updated in our channel now let's see what's about true color now true color so this application has been uh, recently coming into uh, you know it's 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 been all over because uh, now people have a fear that uh, who's gonna call me and something like that before people used to actually do a prank call and actually start pranking people itself but now it is actually easy to find who is calling in our smartphone and from where he's calling such things we can easily identify with an application called true caller now basically true caller is an application developed by a swedish company and uh, the, the download results of that particular application has been growing very large because uh, in india people uh, you know are very much concerned about who are they being mocked by so uh, recently there has been some research going on by the indian defense force or you can probably say two specific uh, you know sectors of the indian defense force which is the raw research and analysis wing as well as the ntro which is the national technical research organization so uh, both of these sectors of the indian defense force has been uh, you know uh, saying that the true caller is said to be a malware or it is said to be a spyware you know uh, basically uh, an application uh, will be analyzed based on its permission seeking uh, you know capabilities now for example there are a lot of applications which you install in your smartphone wherein which when you try to open that there will be a numerous uh, you know access permissions uh, which will be asked to you like if you are for example downloading um, facebook so when you open when you try to open facebook for the first time it will ask, ask a lot of permissions from you like accessing your cameras your folders and such like that so we people tend to actually uh, do stuff like that like allow allow allow, allow and we don't uh, actually see that what permission it is asking so we should give uh, some apps permission to an extent where that application will work. We should not give permissions uh, for a camera for a true caller application. That's why it resulted uh, in this way. Like, so what I'm actually trying to say that is that when they underwent a result, I mean research, uh, true caller has been asking a lot of permissions from its users. Like true caller is a basic application where it analyzes who is calling in a smartphone and who is that particular person from where. That is its work basically. But when I checked the permission list which true caller asked, it was actually asking our permission of a microphone. Well. That's good still an extent, but it also asks permission to our camera when it is an application where it finds who's calling in our smartphone and all. So this actually resulted, uh, you know, the defense uh, people are to actually ban this application from our country, but it couldn't be possible because n number of users are actually registered to this particular application people actually tend to give permissions to all that is being asked by the application and that is when uh, it has been resulted in such leaks or such private moments of you being uploaded in internet by x or y person so you should be very careful that uh, uh, you know which permission is asked by which particular application and you should actually analyze that this application has only this much to do and why should i give permission for something else so now itself you you guys just take your phone and analyze what are the apps you have installed and based on the application see what permissions it's seeking it's simple go to your settings there will be an option called apps so click that and it will show that whatever apps you have installed in your smartphone click any particular application and there will be a column called permissions so you have to click that permissions then basically you can uh, see that whatever permission it has been taking from you since the app has been installed and whatever it is unnecessary when you compare with the app just untick it uh, that's the basic thing that's it for today's video hope you like this video if you like this video give a big thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel talk to you next time bye